What's up YouTube? Hi High Tech Lab here. Today, as you can see, I have some recycled metal here, chop saw here, and shipping container here. And I have laid out my uh, horizontal supports that I'm going to weld to this shipping container. Pretty much what I'm building is uh, some solar trackers for, if you see back here, these solar panels, these 16. Um, those are going to go on this solar tracker rack. And sorry if they're shaky video walking on these containers is a little bumpy but there's also four solar panels here that I plan to put on this rack um, so it'll be a total of 20 panels it's gonna be uh, these containers are 40 feet long by 8 feet wide so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it arranged where instead of it being like horizontal like this it's gonna be one and two so it'll be um, you know whatever this distance is times two um on this rack over here so it's like these panels here if you imagine uh same orientation just instead of the one row it'll be two rows um and then i'm going to build the the racks so these two solar panel racks here excuse me as i kind of squeeze through here were kind of experimental this one right here was the first one i built and um it's all square tube construction so if you look, the top rack is all square tube also. And then I just ran a couple of pieces of angle iron here to bolt down the panels. Um, and I will say this rack right here, uh, it does a lot better in the wind. It's a lot sturdier. And I mean, it, it really doesn't, it doesn't have much a give to it. So I'm going to go with this design. These are 900 pound gate hinges. Uh, the two hinges have been working awesome for these four panels. So I imagine I'll probably have six uh, hinges on the new rack for the um, 20 panels. It should be 20 panels. Um, these panels will be in four in series and um, five series strings in parallel. Uh, all on one of the Outback Flex Max 80s. It should be close to capacity. Um, so this is kind of, you know, general design as I'm going for. Um, let me show you guys the actuator I have. So this is the linear actuator I'm going to be using for the 20 panels. It is, uh, this is the information here. It's rated for 1500 pounds static load. So in other words, if it were windy, um, and the maximum load it'll move appears to be 750 pounds. Um, it's 18 inches of travel and moves at about a quarter inch a second. So that is right here where that's going to go, similar to these. So that's it for this kind of update video. This is all recycled metal. This was actually used to be a clean room, but they demolished the clean room and I saved all the uh, square tubing. I've been cutting it up with my Evo chop saw, diamond carbide blade. It's been working out great. So stay tuned for more.